Today we're going to demonstrate how to fabricate a splint for a combination of a pallet finger with a swan neck deformity. Here we're using a strip of 6 cm Orpicast, measuring the length of the involved finger. Then you're going to fold it into thirds to create a durable strip. Once folded, you'll apply it to the dorsal aspect of the involved finger, flexing slightly the PIP joint to about 30 degrees and extending the DIP joint to neutral. While waiting for it to harden, conform the edges of the material to the finger for a comfortable and snug fit. Your strap should go over the proximal, middle, and distal phalanx, ensuring not to go over the joint lines. The patient should be instructed to remove the bottom strap multiple times a day to actively flex the PIP joint while maintaining the DIP joint in full extension. This splint maintains the DIP joint in extension while preventing hyperextension at the PIP joint, which addresses the swan neck deformity.